What is happening guys? My name is Mike. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a few products for you from a brand called Master Well Comb. This is a brand that reached out to me a couple of weeks ago with a request for a review. And with all the homebrewed stuff I've been recently looking at, I thought this would be a nice change of pace for the review lineup. We got a lot to get through today. We got about four total demos to get through, so I'm not going to talk a whole lot before we jump right in. But for those that don't know, Master Wellcomb is an American company that started in 1935. Since then, they have continued a tradition to this day of producing American-made quality products with both their customers and the environment in mind. I am super excited to get a look at these products. Let's get started. Today we're going to be looking at five total products from the Master Well Comb product line. We will be looking at three styling products and two for shaving. For styling, we're going to be looking into their Crew Comb, their Master Wax, and their Master Pomade. The Master Wax is a medium hold, medium shine styling wax, while the Crew Comb is a super hold, natural shine styling prep. Their Master Pomade is a medium hold, medium shine water based. Looking inside the jar, we can see that two are familiar to the channel, being the pomade and the wax. The pomade appears to be a typical gel type, scooping out nice and easy. The wax is more creamy in appearance and comes out feeling very light like a lotion, but the crew comb is something unique with its thick and almost fluffy appearance. We're also going to be looking at two shaving products, their Bay Rum Aftershave and their Menthol Shaving Cream. Now we got a lot of demos to get through, so I'm gonna jump right into it, starting with the Master Wax. I'm starting off with clean, dry hair for this demo, and right away what I'm noticing with the wax is it comes out like a lotion, but when it hits my hair, the tack and stickiness really comes in, and I'm able to right away begin sculpting. The hold on this product really presents itself in the form of that tack or stickiness that really hits your hair as soon as you apply it. It's pretty sticky to be honest, but I was still able to get a comb through it and achieve my usual style. Next, let's check out the water-based pomade. This is a gel type, so I'm going to start with damp hair. Scooping and breakdown in this pomade is again very typical of a gel type pomade. Some things I did note during testing was this pomade feels a tad bit dry during the breakdown, but it's pretty slick when applied to the hair. A couple of good things I found though was I didn't experience any tug or pull when combing or any premature hardening like I have with some other gel types I've tested. It didn't take long at all with this pomade to achieve a slick version of my usual style. Now we're going to take a look at the Crew Comb, which was the product that actually surprised me the most out of all the ones I tested from this line. I'm going to start with freshly clean dry hair, and because the jar says extra super hold, I'm going to be cautious with my scooping. Extra super hold pretty much means super glue to me, so needless to say, I was trying to be cautious. I was surprised to not only learn this product has more of a medium hold, but makes my hair feel amazingly soft. In the hair, it has great nourishing properties, but with a good hold and natural finish for a nice messy style, both with volume and without. All right, so I'm gonna do something now that I don't even really remember ever doing, and that's I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this um, shaving cream as I use it. It smells really good, it's got a menthol smell to it, and it's got a nice, thick cream here. I'm going to be giving you guys close-ups periodically throughout the demo. So it's a much thicker lather uh, than what you get kind of like a Barbasol or even like the Lockhart's shave cream. This is geared towards barbershops though so it, it goes on nice and thick and it's really easy to mix up and it goes on uh, very smooth. I don't do this too often, so I don't know if I've quite perfected this yet. So I'm just gonna shave my neckline to kinda give you guys my thoughts on this cream here. Ooh. 
Okay, so I am all finished up shaving with the cream here and I do think it works really well. I don't really have any complaints about this shave cream. I think it goes on very slick. It soothes the skin, the menthol uh, additive to the shave cream itself is actually very nice, very soothing. One thing they also sent me too was their Bay Rum Scented Aftershave. Now I use this a couple of times and I do think it's pretty good in the sense that it doesn't have a lot of burning that you get with some aftershaves. You throw it on there and it you know burns for a couple seconds. Um, my only complaint really with this particular one is that it doesn't really have that bay rum type smell to me. I actually get a whole lot of clove, but you know, I am sensitive to scents. That's just me. Overall, I'd say minus the uh, scent, I think it does work pretty well. I do know that they have a multitude of different scent options on their website. Let's jump on back over to the hair product side and talk about the three products I tested out. Out of all three of the styling products, I'd have to say the crew comb was probably my favorite. I thoroughly enjoy the way it made my hair feel extremely soft without sacrificing any of my hair's natural volume. It also has an excellent scent on it. I don't really know how to begin identifying the scent. It's kind of like a musky cologne type scent, but I definitely like it and I can tell you that this is a product that you should have on your radar. For the others, I do think that they worked well. The gel type doesn't over harden and is able to be restyled with just a little bit of water. The wax as well is capable of producing a long lasting achievable style even with some of those barriers like how sticky it is or even the slight dryness to it. Wash out on the wax were pretty standard. They mostly came out with water, but not all the way. And one shampoo, they were both out. The crew comb, on the other hand, being the superstar that it is, came out with just water. Finally, the shave products. Like I said before, the shaving cream actually performed really well, and I would gladly use that again. The aftershave, on the other hand, it performed well, but it was way too heavy on the clove for me, so I probably wouldn't use it again. But again, that's just me. I know some of you out there do like that type of scent, and if you do, this aftershave will work for you. If you would like to check out any of the products featured today from Master Wellcomb, I will leave their website in the description down below. While you're there checking that out, make sure you smash that like button and drop me a comment. If you're new to the channel, I do wanna remind you to hit that subscribe button and check out my other social media accounts for new and additional content. That is it for today's episode. Make sure you stick around because I have some more exciting content coming your way very soon. Until then, take it easy. I'll see you next time.